children's videos from Carlton. Jellicans. Brand new on video. Come inside the jolly jelly world of the Jellikins. Come on, jellies. All aboard. A magical fairy story full of special songs and spells. Tigger, jigger, revenue digger, magic wand, please make us bigger. Come and join the fairies spreading magic all around. Online and feeling fine. Dream straight. Follow the madcap adventures of Buddy, the lovable breakdown truck and all his friends who live and play in fun-filled Dream Street. How about we have a ride? Action Rhymes. 33 sing-along favourites from the Kingdom of Rhymes, including Incy Wincy Spider and many more. The Big Garage. The adventures of four lively taxi cabs in Taxi Town. Peter Rabbit and Friends. Award-winning classic animated tales. Featuring Beatrix Potter's Peter Rabbit and Friends. Tots TV. The Tots are back with their latest adventure. Story time. Oh. Wind in the Willows. And the willows in winter. Classic tales of Toad, Mole, Ratty and Badger in these wonderful features. Toad, old boy, you are a genius! Bananas in pyjamas. Come on, everyone, let's ski! B1, B2 and the Teddies have fun in the snow. Rudolph. A festive mix of magic and music, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the movie, is a delight for the whole family. You're the best friends I've ever had. And the bells rush. Brand new on video for Christmas. This is a heartwarming, magical animated musical. <laughs> Bless you. About a lovable calf called Annabelle who wants to fly. What's your wish? I want to fly too! Children's videos from Carlton. <coughs> far, far away, at the end of the rainbow, which is easy to see but very hard to find, lies the wonderful, magical, colourful world of the Jellikins! Denny. Oh, he doesn't look very happy, does he? What's the matter, Denny? Oh. Denny says he's feeling sad because the jellies haven't had any rainbows to make for ages. Cheer up, says Pepper. I'm sure there'll be a rainbow alert soon. Let's have some fun while we're waiting. Let's have a jelly dance. Oh, yeah! Dancing is great for cheering people up. But something's missing, isn't it? I know. They haven't got any music to dance to. What's that? Oh, it's a radio. There's nobody in there, Denny. So where does the music come from? The music comes from radio stations all over the world. 
They play music and send it through the air, and then it lands in the radio and we can listen to it. Yeah, it's jelly amazing, isn't it? Is this music cheering you up, Denny? No, I didn't think it was. That music is played by a violin. It's slow and sounds jelly sad. Try another radio station, Pepper. You have to twiddle the knobs till you get the station that is playing the sort of music you like. Oh, I like this music. They play this sort of music in Africa. Yeah! I bet this is cheering Denny up. What? You don't like it? We do, don't we, Pepper? Yeah! Well, you see, different jellies like different sorts of music. You better try a different radio station, Pepper. Pepper? I know that radio station. It's Radio Jelly. And it plays non stop jelly music. Come on, Denny. If this doesn't cheer you up, nothing will. Oh, this is great. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble to the jelly beat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at Denny. He's smiling. The music is fast and lively, and he can't help dancing. And when you dance, you start feeling happy. Pepper's turned the volume control. Isn't that a bit loud, Pepper? That's a rainbow alert. It means somebody somewhere needs a rainbow. Oh, dear. The other jellies have got the radio turned up so loudly they can't hear the jelly scope. Jellies! Uh, hello, jellies! Thank you. Now you've turned the music off, you can hear something else. Something very important. Yes, a rainbow alert. Time to make a rainbow. Jelly-tastic! <laughs> Dancing is great for cheering you up. Oh, but nothing beats a rainbow. <laughs> Hello. Fancy is riding in his bumper car. I wish I had a car like that. It's great. I just wish Bouncy was a great driver. See what I mean? What's that? Oh, I see. It's a drum. The edge is a wood, and it has a bit of material stretched really tightly across it. When you bang the middle bit, it makes a sound. Bouncy says he needs some sticks to bang the drum with. Then he could make a jelly-tastically loud noise. A jelly-tastically loud noise. Hmm, just what we need in the jolly jelly world. Bouncy, what are you doing? Bouncy says these paintbrushes will make perfect drumsticks. See, they're long and thin and made of wood. Yes, I can see they make very good drumsticks, Bouncy, but they're not yours. I said they're not yours. You mustn't take something without asking the person it belongs to. Uh, oh, jelly bother, he can't hear me. Bouncy! Uh, yes, Pepper, those are your paintbrushes. I tried to tell Bouncy, but, well, he was playing the drums so loudly. Yes, well, you know that.
Those are my paintbrushes, says Pepper. Next time, says Pepper, please ask me if you want to borrow something. Here's Strum. Bounce is asking him if he's got anything he can borrow to use as drumsticks. Oh, please say no, Strum. I've got a headache. You don't need drumsticks, says Strum. You can use your hands to make the noise. So you can. One, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> the sounds are making a pattern. That's called a rhythm. It's quite good, actually. Yes, I think drums sound a lot better when you play a rhythm, don't you? And it doesn't have to be chilly-tastically loud, either. One, two, a one, two, three. One, two, a one, two, three. That's it, Bouncy. Now Strum can play a tune on his saxophone and Bouncy can play a rhythm on his drums. And together they can play music! Hooray! <laughs> Hello, you're just in time. The jellies are making a beautiful rainbow. Jelly Tacular! Now, what are you three going to do? Oh, that's a jelly good idea. Amber says she wants to dance. Amber likes dancing. She says it makes her feel very happy. Bansy wants to dance too. Great! Have you seen Bansy dancing? It's very, well, uh, sort of Bansy. And Strum's going to play his saxophone, so they can have some music to dance to. So is it going to be a fast dance or a slow dance, Strum? A fast one! Jelly good! Actually, I think I might have a bit of a dance myself. Strum, that's not the sound your saxophone usually makes, is it? What's going on, Strum? Strum says his saxophone is sounding like a drum. How jelly peculiar. Stop mucking about, saxophone, Strum says. Play properly. Right, shall we try again? Now it's sounding like a piano. Oh dear, I think Strum is rather cross with his saxophone. He says it's being jelly silly. Strum is going to try playing a slow dance instead. He thinks that might make the saxophone behave. I can't think why. I suppose it's worth a try. That's guitar music! What in the jolly jelly world is going on? It's no good, says Strum. He can't play guitar music out of a saxophone. That's just, well, silly. And Strum doesn't like being silly. No. Strum is having a jelly good think. He's very good at thinking. Whenever the jellies have a problem, they come to Strum. And usually, he manages to sort things out. Oh, Strum says that maybe the saxophone isn't being silly at all. Bouncy thinks the saxophone might have run out of notes. Strum thinks the saxophone can't remember what it's meant to sound like. He's going to ask his friends to help. Jelly-tastic! Now, says Strum, what does a drum sound like? That is like the sound of a drum. Good. Now, what does a piano sound like? Amber? Blinky plonky, blinky plonky. Good. Yes, well, a piano sounds something like that. And this is what a saxophone should sound like. Stop! Stop! says Strum. My sax never sounded like that. Saxophones sound like this. 
That's it, Strum. That sounds just like a saxophone. Now, let's see if the sax has remembered how to sound. Yeah! At last! Play us some fast and bulbous saxophone music, and we can all do a floppy boot stomping jelly dance. Yeah! Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Come on, jellies, get those wibbles wobbling. What, what is a wibble, by the way? Hello. It's jelly windy today. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen it quite as windy as this. Fancy, hadn't you better slow down a bit? What are you going to play today, Strum? Let's have a look. Ah, you see, those black things are called notes. Each note is a different sound. When you put them together, you get music. La, 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 la. Oh, I know this one. It's Twinkle, Twinkle, Jelly Star. Twinkle, Twinkle, Jelly Star. How I wonder what you are. Above the world, so oh, 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 oh sorry. <clears throat> Where was I? I? Got a bit carried away there. <laughs> Ready, Strum? One, two, three. Twinkle, dr oh, oh, oh. oh no, we've lost the music. The notes have blown away. Look, after them, jellies. I hope it's a catchy tune. Nancy is having a great time here. I'm not sure that he's actually caught any music yet. Oh, look, Fancy, there's one coming down over there. Pepper has found a note. It seems to be stuck in the branches. Give it a jelly big wobble, Pepper. Jelly, well done, Denny. <laughs> Strum says they should go back to the music board and put all the notes back. Good idea. Hmm. I'm not sure the music looked like that before, did it? Oh, well. Here goes. <gasps> Twinkle. Ugh. That's not the version of Twinkle Twinkle Jelly Star I know. Strum says they've put all the musical notes back in the wrong order. If the notes aren't in the right order, you can't play the tune properly, you see. That looks better. Quick, before the wind blows the notes away again. Twinkle, twinkle, jelly star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, wobbling in the jelly sky. Twinkle, twinkle, jelly star, how I wonder what you are. Who's going to say goodbye today? Look, it's Pepper's Day! Bye-bye, Pepper. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time. Making rainbows in a very jolly wobbly world. <laughs> far, far away, at the end of the rainbow, 
which is easy to see, but very hard to find, lies the wonderful, magical, colourful world of the Jellykin! Batsy is in a very happy mood today. He's off to see his friend, Pepper. Mm. Wow. <laughs> what have you found, Batsy? Uh. It looks like a drum. A drum is a type of musical instrument, Bansy. You bang it with a stick, you see, and it makes a noise. Oh, look. Amber's sunbathing. She looks like she's having a lovely, peaceful time. Ooh. I don't think Amber wants you doing that near her when she's trying to relax, Bansy. Perhaps you should go somewhere else to practice your drumming. Look, here's Denny. He's tidying his boat. What can you hear, Denny? Oh, no. Denny says there must be a jelly monster trying to make a hole in his boat. It's going to sink. Oh, dear. Denny's just a little cross with Bouncy. He says he shouldn't go around scaring other jellies like that. Perhaps you ought to go and drum somewhere else, Bouncy. Here's Strum doing a bit of gardening. The perfect thing on a lovely day like today. Fancy, I don't think that's a good idea. Where's he off to? Jelly Disco. The jellies will be there. Bouncy bangs his drum to say, let music fill the air. Strum blows on his saxophone in time with Bouncy's beat. Just feel that jelly rhythm spread to your jelly feet. 
Pepper tings on the triangle and Coral claps her hands and a dustbin lid will do just fine to make our jelly pan. Blow it, bang it or tap it, everyone can play. Make music with the jellies and we'll have fun all day. Hello. Oh, look. Bounces come for a bounce on the jelly trampoline. They're great for bouncing on. Trampolines have got lots of springs around the edges and a stretchy bit in the middle. Bouncing on a trampoline is even better than bouncing on your bed. Did you see that? He did a somersault. That was jelly clever of you, Bouncy. It's like going head over heels in the air. Here's Amber and Coral. Bouncy can show them some of his tricks. You are a proper gymnast, says Coral. Wow, thanks, says Bouncy. And um, what is a gymnast? A gymnast is someone who is very good at jumping and twisting and balancing and, well, making their body do all sorts of clever things. Like somersaults. Amber wants to be a gymnast now. Can she have a turn? No. That's not very kind. Come on, Bouncy. You've been bouncing for ages. Coral says Bouncy should share. But he's not listening. He's having such Bouncy fun up there, he doesn't want to get off. A rainbow alert! Come on, says Amber. Off you get. It's time to make a rainbow! Hmm. Bouncy says he's not falling for that one. But it's true, Bouncy. We all heard the rainbow alert. Has anyone seen Bouncy? asks Strum. He's not here, says Coral. He's too busy bouncing. It's not fair. All the jellies should help making rainbows. There! Look at that jelly-tacular rainbow! Now, says Strum, let's go and see Bansy. Are you all right, Bansy? Oh dear, he says he feels all dizzy. That's what happens if you spin round and round for too long. He says the bouncing is making him feel all funny. Well, stop bouncing, you silly jelly. What do you mean you can't? Of course you can. Good old Strum. He's helping Bouncy. Look, Bouncy's all dizzy. Well, it's your own fault, Bouncy. If you had let someone else have a go, you wouldn't be all wobbly. Come on, Coral, says Strum. Bounce with me. It's much more fun bouncing together. Actually, it's jelly bouncing tastic. Yeah!
skeletons out on the town. Four bubble up and five bubble down. Early in the morning, six feet dancing round and round. Their little feet don't touch the ground. Early in the morning. Oh, darn it, it's this wobbly, wibbly stuff again. Who told these women to sing wibbly wobbly? the wonderful, magical, colorful world of the Welcome to the, the not very jolly jelly world. Amber woke up this morning and her beautiful balloon had gone all flat and funny. Nobody knows how it happened. It will never go back up in the sky like that. Strum says the balloon looks like that because it's lost all its air. What they need to do is put some more air in. Easy peasy jelly squeezy. That's it, Strum. Keep going. Mm. Keep going. Ooh, it's jelly tricky, isn't it? Oh, here's Duffy. He says he'll blow the balloon up for Amber. Go on then, Duffy. Take a really deep breath. Hmm. I can't understand it. Duffy's been blowing as hard as he can, and the balloon keeps going down. <laughs> the balloon has got a hole in it. No wonder it won't go up. As soon as you pump air into the balloon, it all escapes through the hole. Uh... Poor Amber. She's really unhappy. She loves that balloon, and now it's broken. But hang on, says Strum. You know what the jellies do when something's broken? They try to fix it. All they need is something to cover up the hole. Yeah! Strum says if he sits on the hole, no air can escape. Hmm, Amber's right, Strum. It's a kind thought, but you can't sit on the hole forever. And when the balloon goes up in the sky, you'll fall off. Amber says the balloon needs a plaster. Oh, yes! Just like a plaster that you wear when you fall over and hurt yourself. Yes! 
I'm sure the jelly scope would give you a plaster. Wow! Where's it going, Amber? Run after it, quick! I hope this is going to work. Come on, Duffy. Time for another really big, deep breath. Yes! There they go! Up into the sky. Bye-bye, Jellies. Have a good trip. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Strum lives at the station to watch the train go by. Amber chose her big balloon because she likes to fly. Bouncy has a bumper car. He likes to drive around. Duffy likes the jelly caves because they're underground. Coral chose a play brick house and Pepper chose a tree. There is Denny on his boat, as happy as can be. Butterflies prefer a tree and birds prefer a nest. Whoever you are, you have to find the home that you like best. storm in Australia. So the jellies have been hard at work, making lots of rainbows. There goes the last rainbow of the day. Time to go home for a rest now. Careful, Bouncy. Do mind out for that old... Oh, he missed it. Lucky. Oh, but watch out for that. Oh, that was close. Bouncy, look out. You're going to trip over that... Dustbin lid on the ground there. Who's been making all this mess, says Bouncy. It wasn't you, was it, Pepper? No, says Pepper. Pepper never throws litter, actually. He always puts it in the bin. This rubbish must be cleared away, says Pepper. It's making the Jolly Jelly World look terrible. Anyway, I wonder where all this stuff is coming from. Pepper, Bouncy could do with some help. Yes, I know, Bouncy, you didn't make this mess, but somebody's got to clear it up. Oh dear, what in the jolly jelly world is going on? There must be something wrong with the jelly scope. I think it's been working too hard. Uh, 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 
Well, that's stopped it. But what about this rubbish? What are they going to do with it? Ah, Strum thinks that if you save all your old newspapers, they can be taken away and made into new books. That's called recycling. Why can't this rubbish here be turned into something useful? Well, yes, but what? Oh, oh now that's a great idea. Just wait until you see what they're making. Recycled music! Yeah! <laughs> Who would have thought that a load of old rubbish would sound this good? Look, there's the sun. All right, son? It's early morning and all the jellies are starting to wake up. Coral's first this morning. Hello, Coral. And there's Amber. There's Strum. He's always up bright and early. Hello, Pepper. Did you have a good night's sleep? Morning, Bouncy. They do live in some strange places, don't they? Den is still fast asleep on his boat. He's always the last to wake up. He must be dreaming lots of sweet jelly dreams. Denny? Denny? What in the jolly jelly world are you scared of, Denny? It's your friend, the butterfly. The butterfly is looking for a home. He says, can he come and live on your boat? Oh, I'm sure he can. He can't? That's not like you, Denny. Why won't you let the butterfly share your boat? Oh, I see. Denny says the butterfly might get splashed. Or it might fall in the water. Butterflies can't swim, you see. Denny says he's got a friend that the butterfly can live with. Hmm. I wonder which particular friend Denny is thinking of. Bouncy? Bouncy? Can you just stop a minute, Bouncy? Ah, oh, Bouncy, Denny is trying to find a home for the butterfly. Can the butterfly come and live in your car? Oh, of course, jelly-tastic, says Bouncy. Climb aboard, butterfly. Well done, Denny. You found the butterfly a home. What did you do that for, Denny? says Bouncy. We were having a great time. Well, you might have been Bouncy, but the butterfly was feeling car sick. And you just cleaned your car. Any other ideas, Denny? Strum, can you think of a good place for a butterfly to live? A tree! Of course! Why didn't we think of it before? Butterflies live in trees. <laughs> there you are, butterfly. This can be your tree. Now the butterfly has a home of its own. And Denny promises he'll visit him every day. Great. Where are you going, Denny? <laughs> He's going home for breakfast. Bye then. Ooh, come to think of it. I haven't had my breakfast either. See you next time. Bye.
Oh, I'm hungry. Bye. <laughs> Hello. What a beautiful spring morning. The sun is shining. Birds are singing. Mmm, -hmm, what a jelly-tacular day. Ah, here's Coral and Denny. Coral says it's the perfect day for spring cleaning. Why? <laughs> well, Denny, if you don't keep the jelly scope clean on the outside, dirt might get inside, and dirt can make all the bits stop working. Yes, and if the jelly scope stopped working, there wouldn't be any rainbows. Denny says he needs something very important before he can do any more polishing. Hmm, more polish, perhaps? <laughs> the jelly scope is so shiny, he needs sunglasses. Very cool, Denny. Now, let's see who else is busy spring cleaning. Quite right, Strum. He says wherever you live, it's important to keep it looking nice and smart. Whoops, you missed a bit, Strum. I wonder if Pepper is going to dust his house. Polish it? Oh, he's going to paint it. If Pepper didn't keep his treehouse painted, the wood would split and the treehouse would fall down. Imagine that. Here's Bouncy. I wonder if he's going to do some polishing or dusting or... Oh, Bouncy! What a mess, says Peppa. Red footprints everywhere. The footprints make a trail. Pepper thinks that if he follows the trail, he'll find out whose feet are at the end of them. Very clever, Pepper. Bouncy says he's very sorry. He didn't know he'd made such a mess everywhere. What will they do? Ha <laughs> ha ha! They're using Pepper's magic brushes to paint away the footprints. There, that looks better. Don't stop, boys. <laughs> there are lots and lots and lots more everywhere else. <laughs> Have a nice, cleany day, boys. <laughs> Who's going to say goodbye today? Oh, it's Coral. Bye-bye, <laughs> Coral. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time. Making rainbows in a very jelly wobbly world. <laughs> far, far away, at the end of the rainbow, which is easy to see but very hard to find, lies the wonderful, magical, Colourful world of the Jellykin! Jelly.
Jellies have come to play with Duffy in the Jelly Caves. These are the Jelly Caves. They run a long way underground with all sorts of narrow passages. So, what are you going to play today? Duffy says the Jelly Caves are like a maze. A maze is lots of wiggly passages going in different directions. He's going to take the jellies into the centre of the maze and then they've got to find their own way back. That sounds fun. Everyone has to close their eyes and follow Duffy. Well, how can you follow him if you can't see him? Oh, hold on, of course. <laughs> Sorry. Jellies, you're peeking. Now that's cheating. And here we are at the centre of the maze. Duffy says he'll see you back at the entrance. Good luck. I wonder which way is the way out. Well, it's not that way. Not that way either. Strum takes things much more slowly, which is often a jelly good idea. Look what he's found! Very interesting, says Strum. Pepper must have dropped this out of his backpack by mistake. Which means they must have walked this way. Come on, says Trum, let's stick together. Good idea. Oh, but what about Pepper? Poor Pepper. He's not having much luck in this maze. I wish he'd stayed with the others. Strum says it's a trail. If you follow the trail of things Peppa has dropped, it should lead all the way back to the entrance of the cave. Yes! But where's Peppa? Oh, poor Peppa. He doesn't know which way to turn. Well done, says Duffy. By following the trail of Pepper's things, you managed to find your way out. Where is Pepper, by the way? Pepper's lost. Keep calm, Pepper. Someone will find you jelly soon, I'm sure. What did I tell you? Duffy knows his way around these caves like the back of his wings. I hope you can remember your way home. <laughs> Bye, Duffy. Bye! Jelly in the sky. Jelly 
going to say goodbye today. It's Bouncy! Bye-bye, Bouncy. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time. Thank you.